It was a horrific crime carried out in public two years ago in Shakopee. 55-year-old America Thayer was murdered, then beheaded on a street corner. Tonight, her family is left heartbroken again after a judge issued a new verdict in the case. Lou Raguse explains. This was difficult even for the family of the victim, America Thayer, to understand because in May, a judge found Alexis Sabarit guilty of first degree murder. But then today, that same judge ruled that he can't be held criminally liable because of his mental state when he committed the crime. Not guilty by reason of mental illness. The ruling the family of America Thayer was dreading when they came to Scott County Court to confront her killer. Hearing the words not, not guilty to murdering my mother, uh, it's, it's it's really hard for me to understand. It's hard for me to explain to my family, too. America came to America from the Dominican Republic with her son, Charles Thayer. They became citizens, and he looked forward to living a long life with his mom, who was just 16 years older. Things changed seven years ago when America started dating Alexis Sabarit. This is your typical telltale ab abusive man, controlling man relationship for many, many years. and. I can't even tell you how many times the cops were called for him beating the crap out of her and leaving her all bloody. America stayed in the relationship despite her family's pleas. Charles says she was finally planning to leave when Sabarit beat her and beheaded her in public. Charles thought the relationship's history proved Sabarit knew what he was doing. He'd already tried killing her. He'd told people he was going to kill her. He told her he was going to kill her. But Judge Caroline Lennon followed the advice of two psychologists who both believed the crime was motivated by paranoid delusions that didn't allow Sabari to understand murder was morally wrong. I just don't know what world or society we're living in anymore. Um, I just want this to be over with for myself, my family, and more, more importantly. And I just want us to be able to move on and remember the good things about my mom. Sabari will not be released to the public. Tomorrow, civil commitment hearings will begin and he will be committed to a hospital. How long and what that commitment will look like still needs to be worked out. Back to you. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help available. The Minnesota Day One Crisis Line will connect you to experts and programs in our state. You can either text or call.